I hope you understood the summary. So let's read the chapter paragraph by paragraph. And I'll also explain to you along alongside. I am also going to give you meaning. So please ensure that you have a pencil or a pen along with you so that you can write the meanings uh, when while I explain. So let's start the chapter. A letter to God. The house, the only one in the entire family, sat on the crest of a low hill. Crest means top of the hill. The meaning is given uh, adjacent to your paragraph. From this height, one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with flowers that always promised a good harvest. The only thing the earth needed was a downpour or at least a shower. In this chapter, the context of downpour or a shower is nothing but rainfall. What, are they, what did the field want? It wanted heavy rainfall so that you know it could just grow nicely. So underline the word downpour, it means rainfall. Throughout the morning, Lencho, who knew his fields intimately, had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast. Intimately, underline the word intimately, it means thoroughly. It means thoroughly. So what does this paragraph explain is, uh, what does this paragraph tell us is that Lencho along with his wife and kids lived in a lonely house in a valley and he lived in the top of the hill. So at that from there he could see river and he could also see a farm of corn. And that is what he had cultivated for this year. And all that it needed was heavy rainfall. So Lencho was actually gazing towards northeast just to see if the clouds were approaching and if they would get rainfall that day. Now we are really going to get some water women. Here the woman is not nobody else but his wife. The woman who was preparing supper replied, yes, God willing. The older boys were working in the field while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the women called to them all. Come for dinner. It was during the meal that, just as Lencho had predicted, big drops of rain began to fall. In the northeast, huge mountains of clouds could be seen approaching. So, so far what we have understood is, the small, smaller kids were playing in the farm while the elder kids were actually working. And their mother called out to them for having dinner. That is the point when rainfall started. The air was fresh and sweet. The man went out for no other reason than to have pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, These aren't rain raindrops falling from the sky. They are new coins. The big drops are 10 cent pieces and the little ones are 5. So Lencho was actually amazed at the size of the raindrops that were falling. He was like, you know, outside it is not just tiny raindrops that are falling. These are actually signs of coins. The bigger raindrops are the signs of, uh, are the size of 10 drop coins, 10 drop cents, sorry, 10 cents. And the smaller uh, raindrops are a size of 5 cents. With a satisfied expression, he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flowers draped in curtain of rain. Draped, if you look side, look, uh, the meaning is covered. But suddenly a strong wind began to blow and along with the rain, very large hailstone, hailstones began to fall. These truly did resemble new silver coins. The boys, exposing themselves to rain, ran out to collect the frozen pearls. So now what happened was, rainfall soon started converting into hailstorm and ole girne lage in short wahan pe you know instead of raindrops pani nahi gir rahe the uske aage abhi ole girne lage so now that actually resembled coins because those were stones hailstorms that were falling it's getting really bad now exclaimed the man i hope it passes quickly it did not pass quickly for an hour the hail rained on the house the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, on the whole valley. The field was white as if covered with salt. So he was like, you know, maybe this should pass very soon. I understand hailstones are, hail are falling, but you know, I just expect it, it to end soon. But it did not. It rained hailstones for an hour and the entire area was white as if it was covered with salt. Not a leaf remained on the trees. The corn was totally destroyed. 
the flowers were gone from the plants lencho's soul was filled with sadness when the storm had passed he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons a plague of locust would have left more than this the hail has left nothing so now what happened was after the hailstone the situation was very bad there was no flower there was no leaf left the cornfield was entirely you know ruined and what lencho said was you know a bunch of flies a bunch of moths if they would have come to our field and started eating the uh, started eating the crops they would have left better wo log zyada chhodte jitna ye aandhi toofan aake hamare you know abhi to sab kuch hi barbaad ho gaya right the hail has left us nothing this year we will have no corn that night was a sorrowful one sorrowful it means sad that night was a sorrowful one all our work for nothing there's no one who can help us we'll all go hungry this year but in the hearts of all who lived in that solitary house in the middle of the valley there was a single hope help from god solitary it means alone lonely don't be so upset even though this seems like a total loss remember no one dies of hunger so now it it was a very terrible situation there so at this point in time uh, the family was thinking how would they proceed further what uh, what about their future they were all worried they were like we are going to we are going to you know die of hunger but that point in time they always believed in god so that is what lencho said that we don't have to worry about anything we still have god with us all through the night lencho thought only of this sorry all through the night lencho thought only of his one hope the help of god whose eyes as he had been instructed see everything even what is deep in one's conscience conscious means an inner sense of right and wrong so he believes that god can see through an individual's mind and his heart so even though we we you know say that we are okay and we wish somebody all the best but in, in our heart we are like oh god that person should actually fail and we think nobody can actually know what am i thinking i can just fake it but he believes but what lencho's belief was you know whatever we think god will see through us so no matter how much we pretend god knows what a person is thinking so at this point in time god is going to help me because all i feel is sadness my entire you know hard work has gone in vain Lencho was an ox of a man working like an animal in the fields but still he knew how to write ox of a man means lencho was very hard working he used to work day in day out like an animal and he was not that qualified but he knew how to write the following sunday at daybreak he began to write a letter which he himself would carry to town and place in the mail it was nothing less than a letter to god god he wrote if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year i need 100 pesos in order to sow my field again and to live until the crop comes because the hail storm dot 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 so in a uh, paragraph if there is something written in inverted commas and there are dot 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 mentioned it means that something is continued okay in order to show continuity that is why writers put these uh, dot dot dots in the paragraphs that they write okay so what did lencho write lencho begged god basically ki bhagwan ye toofan ne ye hail storm ne mera sab kuch mera jo field hai sab kuch barbaad kar diya hai to please agar aap chahte you know aap uh, please mujhe help kar dijiye mujhe you know 100 pesos de do 100 pesos pesos are mexican currency that means he would have lived somewhere near mexico okay so please in indian terms we can say 100 rupees so please mujhe 100 rupees de do so that you know main apne ghar ko chala saku main seeds khareed saku kyunki mere paas abhi seeds bhi bache nahi hai right to main seeds khareed saku i can you know buy seeds to cultivate and also during the time of cultivation my family could sustain with that amount he wrote to god on the envelope put the letter inside and still troubled went to town at the post office he placed the stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox one of the employees who was a postman and 
and also helped at the post office went to his boss laughing heartily and showed him the letter to god laughing heartily means laughing you know hysterically laughing you know uh, with that conviction never in his career as a postman had he known that address uh, the postman was also worried this letter says to god where do i deliver this what is the address i don't even know nobody has seen god what do i deliver it to a church do i deliver it to a temple i don't know anything about it so he went to his boss the postmaster a fat amiable fellow amiable means friendly and pleasant it's there besides so if you you know just friendly and pleasant means he was a very nice person he was a very warm person you can go and talk to him it's not like you know you see somebody very strict and you feel like oh i shouldn't be going and telling him something it's not that kind of a person he was a very nice person fat amiable fellow also broke out laughing but almost immediately he turned serious and tapping the letter on his desk commented what faith i wish i had the faith of the man who wrote this letter starting up a correspondence with god he was like oh my god he read the letter and in between he was just stunned oh my god what a belief he has i wish काश मैं इतना किसी चीज पर भरोसा रख पाता काश मैं किसी पे इतना यू नो स्टोनली बिलीव करता तो दिस इज रियली अमेजिंग so in order to not shake the writer's faith in god the postmaster came up with an idea answer the letter so what this person thought was if there is no reply from god lento's faith would have been shaken obviously he would have thought you know what is happening why is god not replying is there some problem since his firm his faith was so, so firm so the postmaster felt he was a nice fellow like i mentioned so he felt you know why don't we reply to this letter so that you know his faith is sustained but when he opened it it was evident that to answer it he needed something more than goodwill ink and paper so he was like you know when he opened the letter when he read the letter he understood that just by writing back just by replying nothing is going to help rancho is not going to believe it lancho will be rather disappointed but he stuck to his resolution he asked for money from his employees he himself gave part of his salary and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity obliged happy to they were you know they they were happy to you know contribute something as an act of charity it was impossible for him to gather together the 100 pesos so he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half he put the money in an envelope addressed to lencho and it with a and with it a letter containing only a single word as a signature god the following sunday lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him it was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed looked down from his office so now what happened the postmaster being such a nice fellow he did not want to disappoint the faith lencho had what he did was he started collecting money he couldn't collect the entire 100 pesos so what he did was he started bit by bit he started collecting and he could only collect more than half that is about 70 pesos and he put that in the envelope he was like you know let's just give him what we have collected at least something is better than nothing so when he gives him that so next day on the following sunday lencho comes up to the post office he came comes a bit early because you see now that is the kind of belief we are talking about he did not only believe that you know this letter would reach to god he also believed that god would actually reply back sending him the money so he reached the post office he reached early and he asked the postmaster does he have a letter you know for address to him so this was the same postmaster who had collected the letter from the post box so he gave the letter and the postmaster who was i mean the boss he was looking from his office because he was so satisfied he was so contented that yes i've performed a good deed i have saved a man's belief and i'm also saving his life in fact and his family's life so he was watching from his window and this postmaster gave him the letter let's see what happens lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money such was his confidence but he became angry when he counted the money god could not have made a mistake nor could he have denied lencho what he had requested so now anybody would have thought he would have been surprised you know actually god replied and 
come on it's it's obvious right i send you a letter it is expected that you would somebody would reply but if i'm writing to god and if i get a reply back it would be very surprising it was it would be very nice so lento was not that kind of a person he did not believe that you know god will not reply back he believed that he he felt that god is definitely going to give him money he started he was not surprised for the money on the envelope so then he started counting that is when his dismay began that is when he was confused as to this cannot be right god cannot be you know making mistakes god knows how to count of course he's god and how can he not send me 100 pesos so there is something fishy immediately lencho went up to the window to ask for paper and ink on the public writing table he started to write with much wrinkling on his brow caused by his caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas when he finished he went to the window to buy a stamp which he licked and then affixed to affixed to the envelope with the blow of his fist the moment the letter fell into the mailbox the postmaster went to open it it said god of the money that i asked for only 70 pesos reached me send me the rest since i need it very much but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks lencho so let's see the meaning of affixed affixed means he just fixed it somewhere so he licked the stamp and he affixed on the envelope and then he you know deposits it into the post box so the pace, same postmaster who delivered the letter he read it again and that is the point when he realizes you know lencho still believes in god his faith is not shaken but what i realize now is he doesn't believe in human beings he doesn't believe that human beings can also do good act human beings can also be nice human beings can also take care of themselves and it is ironical because a man who puts so much faith in god has so less faith in human beings is that his uh, people there so that is the irony of the chapter i hope you understood the chapter if there are any doubts please reach out to us thank you